The demand for 3D rendering has never been greater. From product prototyping to animated movies and online gaming, the ability to convert complex algorithmic calculations into 3D visual graphics has created a tremendous need for heavy processing power. Additionally, virtual reality and the growing popularity of the metaverse have created a need for rendering in real time. Hoping to provide a solution, the Render Network seeks to reward those willing to offer unused computer processing power for Render Crypto tokens. And in today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about this unique project. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into the Render Network. We'll examine everything you need to know about the project including what it is, how it works, and how anybody can earn rewards by offering up unused computing power. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, the Render Network seeks to create a decentralized network that connects those needing computer processing power with those willing to rent out unused processing power from their home devices. In exchange, those willing to offer their device's unused GPU or graphics processing unit are rewarded with Render Tokens, the native utility token of the Render Network. Render significantly simplifies the traditional processes of rendering and streaming 3D scenes and other visual effects by building a peer-to-peer -peer network on which users and organizations may tap into unused processing capacity cheaply and efficiently. As a result, Render has positioned itself well as a critical component of the metaverse's next-generation digital products and services. As previously mentioned, 3D rendering has a number of different applications. From product prototyping to architectural modeling, it's difficult to think of any industry that hasn't made use of 3D rendering technology. The Render Network, however, hopes to take this technology to the next level and in doing so, has set its eyes on the metaverse. The metaverse itself really began to gain mainstream traction in October of 2021, when CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook would be rebranding to Meta in order to better align its focus with bringing the metaverse to life. Shortly after, metaverse-linked projects such as Decentraland and Axie Infinity skyrocketed in popularity. Creating these types of worlds is a unique challenge however, and one that will require lots of GPU power. As such, the Render Network's ability to tap into a network of unused processing power has positioned it nicely to be at the forefront of creating the next generation of virtual worlds. Operating as an automated marketplace, the Render Network connects content creators, simply known as creators, with GPU providers, known as node operators. Using the Render Network involves six steps. The first of these is creating a job. Creators submit their jobs using a supported plugin, integration, or with Octane Render, a GPU render engine from the Render Network's parent company, Otoy. In this stage, key parameters such as output format, sample size and graphic resolution are defined. There are three service tiers that a creator must select from as well, depending on their job's priority level and a node operator's reputation scores and benchmarks, a topic we'll cover a little bit more in a bit. Once a job is created, it then needs to be uploaded through Render's Octane Render web portal. During this process, the creator's assets are split into individual files, encrypted and hashed. The process provides end-to-end -end traceability and simplifies the ability of Render to detect and prevent malicious behavior. Payment terms and job requirements are sent to a smart contract that transmits pertinent details throughout the Render network. The third step assigns a job to a node operator. This is done automatically by Render's protocol. The protocol will assign node operators to suitable jobs based on their reputation scores and the creator's specifications. In the fourth step, the job is then completed. Octane Render is used by node operators to process each assigned job with the node operator's contributions being tied to their own Octane Render unique identifier. Once the job is completed, then the deliverables must be verified by the creators. Node operators' render progress can be monitored in real-time by their creators and if necessary, the creators can flag malignant behavior and processing abnormalities prior to a job's completion. The previews are watermarked until a job is confirmed. Upon verification, the final step is payment completion. During a rendering job, 
Payments are held in escrow until a creator releases payment to the node operator once they verify that the job has been completed to their satisfaction. Upon payment, render tokens are released to node operators. The render network itself also receives a small percentage, typically between 0.5 and 5% of the total render tokens needed to process a job, for running the render network and facilitating the transaction. Once payment is complete, creators can then download their rendered assets. As previously noted, when a job is created, creators must choose from one of three service tiers. Node operators are classified into one of these three tiers depending on their reputation scores. The three tiers are defined as Tier 1, Trusted Partners, Tier 2, Priority, and Tier 3, Economy. Tier 1 services are completed by node operators with the highest reputation scores and as a result, they charge higher fees. Likewise, Tier 3 services are completed by less reputable node operators and charge lower fees. Creators also receive reputation scores. These scores are based on node operator feedback and can determine how many nodes a creator can access concurrently. As such, reputation scores are assigned to both node operators, as well as creators, and influence how quickly jobs can be completed. This tiered arrangement serves as the bedrock for the Render Network's Proof of Render Governance system. It relies on a combination of manual and automated inputs to determine reputation scores. Proof of Render very much resembles Proof of Work, but with one key difference. Whereas proof of work node operators earn crypto tokens by spending computational power to solve complex mathematical computations, proof of render node operators spend computational power to complete rendering services and earn render tokens. The render network has been popular in the NFT world as well. In addition to rendering, the protocol can be used to tokenize rendered products and mint NFTs. This is an enormous benefit for creators. It can allow them to profit from future royalties whenever their NFTs are traded. Additionally, it can help to protect rights and monetize art without the use of an intermediary and the fees associated with them. In the fall of 2021, creators used Render to perform over a quarter of a million jobs. As a result, it was reported that nearly $500 million in sales were brought in from NFTs created on the Render network. The Render team was able to boost its popularity by teaming up with artists with large cult following such as Gene Roddenberry, of Star Trek fame, and Alex Ross, who was instrumental in bringing Marvel comic books to life. And that's all that we have for today's video. We hope you got a good understanding of the Render Network, and the unique value it brings to 3D rendering and the metaverse. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next video.